Hi guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So this one I've actually been really excited to film and this one is just going to be all my tips on how to grow on YouTube. I've watched so many of these videos and done so much research because I want to know how to grow and I want to be able to share it with you guys. So I figured if I'm doing all this research, I should share it with you guys as well and help you. So if you see me looking over, I actually have a whole list on my iPad of what I want to say. And if you watched my how I plan my videos video, which should be my last video, um, you will know exactly how I do this and all that I do. So we're just going to jump right into the tips and stop rambling. So my first tip is to turn off your subscriber count. Some people say that you shouldn't do this, but I definitely think that you should. This has helped my channel grow so much and I grew like 50 subscribers in like a week and a half, which is something that I had never done before. Number two is to use longer titles with more keywords to boost your SEO. SEO is search engine optimization and this is basically how you get found as a small YouTuber. So if you are a small YouTuber, I definitely recommend targeting search to be found. That is what I'm doing and it has really helped my channel grow. So if you use longer titles, with more keywords that will help like specify your video and YouTube will be like okay I see it here and I'm going to rank it higher because this has like super clear keywords and all this stuff and I'm actually going to be doing a video on how to rank higher in search um so stay tuned for that turn on my post notifications if you haven't already number three is that thumbnails are everything they're the first thing that somebody sees whenever they find your video so if you are ranking high in search but your thumbnail sucks then there's no point in ranking high in search. You want to have a good thumbnail that is either aesthetically pleasing or is just good, I don't know, um, and people will click on your video and get you views and maybe even get you subscribers. Your thumbnail has to be eye-catching. It has to draw your viewers in. So it has to be something that's really like gonna pop out. Like sometimes I'll do a white outline around me um, just so that like you can really see me. I stand out and I find that that helps a lot. Another thing that I like to do is post my thumbnail options in Facebook groups. So I'll make like a couple different options of a thumbnail, making different faces or just different details of my thumbnail. And then I will post them in Facebook groups and be like, hey guys, which one do you think like is better? Which one do you click on? Blah, blah, blah. And people will tell me and then I will use the one that people tell me that they will click on because I want other people's opinions so that I know this is what people will click on. I often ask Luke too what he'd click on just for some help. I mean, he, he clicks on all my videos, but like I think for my makeup tutorial, I had the two pictures pulled up and I said, okay, I'm gonna like give you a glance of this, tell me which one catches your eye for. And so I gave him a glance and he told me and that's one I used. My next tip is to join Facebook groups. Now I have to give credit to Annie Dubé for this. Um, she is how I found out to do this and this has actually helped me grow so, so much. So these groups can get you engagement, subscribers, and help you make friends. So like I said, I use these to figure out my thumbnails and I use these to promote my videos and a lot of people are super genuine and go watch and they comment and they're like, oh my God, I loved this and it's just so sweet. And you can also find other YouTubers that you really enjoy watching and that's how I found a lot of the people that I watch as well, so. A lot of the people in them are really nice and genuinely want to help, but I always join like the girl ones and I actually have my own Facebook group for girls that are on YouTube and I will link that below, but it's just a good way for for you to connect with other people, have more people watch your videos, and usually as soon as my video goes live, I post it and then that gets me my first initial views and then it helps my videos be pushed more because people have already seen it. Be consistent. I know that every YouTuber says this and we're all tired of hearing it, but it really does matter. This helps the YouTube algorithm know that you are a genuine content creator and it will push out your content more because you have you are consistent, you post once a week, twice a week, whatever, they will know that you are a real person and not just a robot. On Instagram, use the small YouTuber hashtag to your advantage. Now, for this one, I have to give credit to that girl, Asia. That is how I found out about this one, but it works really well with the right people. So you can either put it on your post and people will find you. I always use that and I use small YouTubers unite, small YouTuber support, whatever, and people will find me a lot easier because a lot of people will go through the hashtag and find you. You can also go to the hashtag, go to recent and scroll through and find pictures that you like and you can find YouTubers that you actually enjoy. You can be like, hey, do you wanna be YouTube friends? And obviously they don't have to, but if you do find the right people and you genuinely like their content, you can tell them that you subscribed. Never ask anybody to subscribe to you, never force anybody to. Like, I hate getting the comments on my videos that I worked super hard on that are like, hey, loved this, but can you check out my channel? Like, blah, blah, blah. And it really is just hard because I work super hard on my videos and people are only using them 
to promote themselves. This one is really important. You need to push through your doubt. It really sucks sometimes when you aren't growing, but you have to just keep pushing and just keep trying because nothing's gonna come from it if you don't try. The more you post on YouTube, the more likely you are to grow. You have to have more than one video to grow on YouTube. The chances of your one video going viral are very slim, so the more you post, the higher your chances are. You will never see any success if you quit. Just think about that. So if you are not seeing success right now, and you're like, what the heck, like I'm not growing, I'm trying so hard. I just wanna give up. Well, if you give up, then nothing's gonna come from it. Think about that one. Do you wanna be a quitter? Do you wanna not have success? I don't think so. Interact with others. So as for your subscribers, always heart your comments always comment back it builds a connection and it helps your engagement and youtube will just see it as another comment and that will show them that your video is getting engagement getting views people like this video so it will bump it up and push it out more but if you don't have a whole bunch of subscribers and you can reasonably get through all of your comments then there is no reason you shouldn't be commenting back it doesn't have to be right away but maybe at the end of the night when you get home go through your comments go to the ones you haven't responded to and answer all of your comments i always do this it's the first thing i do when i wake up and i check it before i go to bed just because i want to make sure that i have a connection with my audience and it helps my videos as well for other channels you can go to channels that are like yours and you can watch their videos and you can comment something genuine don't comment like hey just found your channel i would love it if you subscribed to me no, don't say that because they 100% will not subscribe to you. I do not subscribe to people when they say that on my channel because they are not respecting the work that I put in. So I will not respect the work that you put in. That sounds really rude, but I mean, that's just how it is. I don't want people coming to my channel saying just to subscribe to them and check out their channels. I want to know that you actually watched my video and then maybe I will. So when you find channels that are like yours, you can comment something genuine about the video and then maybe they will click on your like picture if you look like you have an actual channel and they will find that you do have a channel and yeah also if you are watching like a youtube tips video or like a youtube video ideas video you can always comment and be like thanks this helps so much like this helped me with my channel blah 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 and people will know that you have a channel from your comment so you can slyly just kind of like slide in there like yes i have a channel but you're not saying hi i have a channel subscribe to me please you know it's like slide smooth. Make searchable content. You all know this, I'm sure you've heard it everywhere, but it is so important to be found as a small YouTuber. So make videos like how-to videos, like how to cut your hair at home, how to bake a pie, how to do whatever. Or you can do trending videos. Just basically just make videos that people would look up because YouTube is a search engine as I've said probably a billion times, but yeah, so I mean how-to's are probably the easiest you can do um, But basically you just want to make videos that people will look up That is actually the best way to get found as a small youtuber because YouTube isn't likely to put your channel on the homepage Because you are not a big channel getting lots of views um, You might be on the homepage if somebody has watched your videos before but to be found by new people It's not very likely to be on the homepage. So I definitely recommend targeting search the majority of my views actually come from search um, my what's on my iphone video i think 90 percent of my views came from search and that one right now has a little over 800 views so yeah that just goes to show what search does for you use lots of keywords this goes along with making searchable content but there's no point in making searchable content if you don't use keywords if you use keywords then you will rank higher in search and it helps you be found a lot quicker because not a lot of people will scroll down very far so i recommend doing your keyword research before you make a video um so that you know exactly what you're going to title it and all that stuff if you want to see how i do my keyword research go to my last video which is my how i play my videos and you will see kind of what I do. Lastly, I want to talk about small YouTuber support. So you can actually comment your channel below, talk about what you do, give a little brief explanation of your channel. Um, but I do request that you subscribe to me too because I am the one making this video for you guys. And you can find people to connect with. People might find your channel and subscribe to you if they see your comment. You can find other people that you want to subscribe to as well. When your channel is still really small and growing, these are good to help your channel get found and put your channel out there. But I don't recommend doing them for too long because they're not always genuine. And and I mean, sometimes it can hurt you more than it helps, but definitely at some points it can really help. And if you find genuine people that actually stay subscribed to you, it's really nice. This helps you boost your channel and just kind of get it out there in the beginning. And 
it's something that I have recently seen here on YouTube and I think that it's actually a really good idea. These help you find other channels that you like and find more people to watch, which is one of my favorite things about it because I love finding new channels. And they also help people find you and subscribe to you. So yeah, guys, remember if you do comment down below, please subscribe to me too because yeah, we're all trying to grow together. Also, don't forget if you want a shout out, then post a picture on your Instagram story watching my newest video and tag me in it. Or you can turn on your post notifications, comment telling me that you did that. And if you comment early so that I really know that you did it, that'll give you even more of a chance to win. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday and you don't want to miss one. So that is all I have for you guys and I will see you in the next one.